the 2016 Lotus 311. Having launched the 2015 Lotus Elise S Cup in 2014 and the 2016 Lotus Evra 400 in 2015, Lotus is slowly but surely heading towards stability under the guidance of Jean-Marc Gales. The Frenchman joined the company in May 2014, when the Brits were struggling to stay afloat with net losses at more than $250 million at the end of 2013. Now that the British brand is somewhat stable, Gales reportedly wants three new vehicles in dealerships, including an Evra Roadster, an SUV, and a successor to the 211. And the latter was just introduced at the 2015 Goodwood Festival of Speed. Dubbed 311, the new sports car follows in the footsteps of its predecessor in just about every respect. It sports the Barchetta-style design and features a comprehensive aerodynamic kit that includes all the goodies usually seen on a hardcore track car, including a large front splitter and rear wing, as well as a race-spec diffuser. What sets the 311 apart from its ancestor besides the updated styling is the significantly more powerful engine and the fact that it comes in two versions. The Brits will build models for both the road and the track. Both will feature the same power plant, but the racing variant will feature improved aerodynamics to help it go faster around the track. Lotus also aims to lap the Nürburgring in only 709 with the 311, which would make it the fifth quickest production car on the Green Hell. Updated September 21, 2016, Lotus took the 311 to the famous Nürburgring track. Hit play to watch how the sports car behaved on the track, having Norshalif expert and professional racer Mark Bassing behind the wheel. Continue reading to learn more about the Lotus 311. Exterior Much like the 2007 Lotus 211 before it, the 311 is based on the lightest and smallest sports car in Lotus' current lineup. In this case, it's the 2012-2015 Lotus Exige S. The front fascia is the most recognizable feature coming from the Exige. The bumper intakes are shaped in a similar way, while the headlamps are identical to the Exige's. However, the aero kit Lotus has designed for the 311 adds a larger splitter and reshaped fenders. The hood is also different, and because the 311 doesn't have a conventional windscreen, it's also longer. Above the waistline, you can see the rollover hoop and the nearly flat windscreen so commonly found on Barchetta-style sports cars and racers. The rear fascia, on the other hand, has very little in common with the Exige. The round taillights are seemingly the only part the two sports cars share. Both the bumper and vents are different, as well as the two-piece diffuser. The large exhaust pipe, however, is still positioned at the center. The 311 is equipped with a decklid spoiler, as well as a large wing. When viewed from the side, the 311 is also different than the Exige S. Both the front and rear fenders, as well as the side skirts, have been redesigned for optimized aerodynamics. Above the waistline, you can see the rollover hoop and the nearly flat windscreen so commonly found on Barchetta-style sports cars and racers. A set of multi-spoke, lightweight wheels wrapped in Michelin tires round off the performance package. Lotus says the race version features a more aggressive aero kit compared to the road model, but no specifics were given. Lastly, the show car is wrapped in a metallic shade of British racing green and the yellow found on Lotus historic badge. I'm guessing customers will be able to order the 311 in a wider range of liveries. Interior the single photo released as of yet confirms that the 311 comes with a no-nonsense cockpit devoid of any convenience features. It's looking like we'll get a fresh taste of Alpine performance. Details as to what technology has gone into this car are scant, but the only picture available shows a digital display that enables the driver access to a range of parameters, including speed, RPM, gear, oil pressure and temperature, fuel, and many more. In front of the screen there's a leather-wrapped, three-spoke Momo steering wheel with aluminum paddle shifters for the sequential gearbox, while the right side of the dash features a small panel with an engine start button and other controls. The road-going 311 is also equipped with a sports seat, while the race version features an FIA-approved seat with a six-point harness. Other than that, the 311's cockpit appears to be an aluminum shell designed with pure racing in mind. And that's just awesome drivetrain. 
As speculated from the very beginning, the 311 is powered by a supercharged V6 engine that's likely based on the same 3.5-liter power plant found in the Evra and Exige SI say, likely, because Lotus hasn't revealed displacement information. What's important here is that the mill generates a whopping 460 horsepower in the race version, which accounts for a massive 198 horsepower improvement over the most powerful iteration of the 211. The road variant, on the other hand, comes with 410 horses on tap. Lotus also unveiled that the race variant of the 311 tips the scales at only 890 kilograms 1,962 pounds, offering a power-to-weight ratio 517 horsepower per ton. Lotus claims all that power is enough to send the 311 race flying from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 2.9 seconds. This figure not only makes it the quickest Lotus ever built, but also gives the 311 supercar-like sprints. Top speed is estimated at 180 miles per hour for the race version. Though less powerful, the road version is also pretty fast, needing 3.3 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour, to go with a top speed of 174 miles per hour. Lotus also unveiled that the race variant of the 311 tips the scales at only 890 kilograms 1,962 pounds, offering a power-to-weight ratio 517 horsepower per ton. The road model weighs in at 925 kilograms 2,039 pounds, a fantastic figure for a 410 horsepower vehicle. Prior to the unveiling, Jean-Marc Gales said that the 311 will lap the Nürburgring lap in 709 minutes, which is only a second slower than the 2015 Nissan GTR Nismo. While the official attempt has yet to happen, Lotus did publish the 311's benchmark on the challenging Hethel track, which stands at an astonishing 1 minute 19 seconds and 5 milliseconds minutes for the race version. Drivetrain Specifications Prices Besides being the quickest Lotus in history, the 311 is also the most expensive production car the brand has offered yet. The road version will start from £82,500, about $119,180, including VAT, while the race variant will retail from £116,500, around $168,284, including VAT. Total production will be limited to only 311 cars. Lotus has yet to announce US availability, but it did say that the road model will only be offered in Europe and Asia, while the race version will be sold globally. This means that if the 311 crosses the pond to North America, we will only get the more expensive variant. UK prices Competition 2013 Caterham 7620R when it comes to no-nonsense performance cars, the Caterham 7 is among the best the industry has to offer. Although it's been wearing a Caterham badge since 1973, the 7 was actually created by Lotus founder Colin Chapman in the late 1950s. Built around his simplified, then add lightness ethos, the 7 has since been considered the embodiment of the brand's performance through low weight and simplicity. In 2015, the Caterham 7 is available in many forms, the most extreme of which is the 620R. Weighing only 1,200 pounds and powered by a 2.0-liter Ford Duratec engine rated at 311 horsepower and 219 pound-feet of torque, the 620R has the ability to hit 60 miles per hour from a standing start in only 2.8 seconds, making it as quick as most million-dollar supercars. Unfortunately, the 620R's availability is restricted to the UK and mainland Europe, where it can be had from £49,995 around $75,000 as of March 18, 2015. There is a bit of good news for those of you looking to purchase a 7 in the US Caterham has recently reached an agreement with Superformance, who now sells the 360 and 480 models, the first 7s specifically designed for US consumption. The same Ford-sourced, 2.0-liter 4-pot motivates the two, but while the 360 comes with 180 horsepower and 143 pound-feet on tap, the 480 benefits from 237 horses and 151 pound-feet. Pricing starts from $44,900 for the 360 and $52,900 for the 480, but the sticker doesn't include the drivetrain, which adds another $12,000.
Still better than not being able to import a 7 at all, right? Continue reading our review here. Ariel Adam Although it lacks the heritage of the Caterham, Lotus 7 name, the Ariel Atom is equally suited as a track day vehicle. It's less appealing for road use, but it's not like you buy one to drive it on your daily commute. The Atom features a much simpler exterior design, with a wrap-around roll cage replacing most of the body panels. The standard Atom comes with a Honda-sourced, 2.0-liter, 4-cylinder engine rated at 245 horsepower and 155 pound-feet of torque and a 6-speed, close-ratio manual gearbox. Reaching 60 miles per hour from a standing start takes only 3 seconds. Then there's the newly launched 2015 Ariel Atom 3S, which comes with added F1-style pods, a full-glass windscreen, and a larger, but still Honda-sourced, 2.4-liter engine that sends 365 turbocharged horses to the wheels. A new, race-spec, 6-speed sequential gearbox built by Sedev enables the 3S to hit 60 miles per hour only 2.8 seconds. The good news here is that, unlike other Atoms, the 3S is finally available in the US pricing is set at $89,975, which makes it the most expensive of the bunch. Continue reading our review here. Conclusion Needless to say, the 311 looks ready to kick some ass in the sports car world and judging by the preliminary numbers, it should be able to outgun a couple of supercars too. With 450 horsepower at its disposal and a Nürburgring lap time of only 709 seconds, the 311 could become one of the most exciting track prep sports cars yet. In the meantime, it's Lotus' first brand new vehicle since the 2009 Evera and that's a very good reason to celebrate. The 311 might just help Lotus get back on track after many years of financial hardship. All I want is to see this beast deliver some quick laps on Europe's hottest race courses and, why not, maybe see it star in a one-make series. Love it massive power-to-weight ratio could deliver an impressive Nürburgring lap Lotus first new car since 2009. Leave it Lotus needs to back those claims with facts plays in a tough niche likely no US availability rendering. Update History Updated June 24, 2016, the first Lotus 311 rolled out of the production line at the famous Hethel factory. The first 311 built features a matte and gloss black color scheme and will be on display at this year's Goodwood Festival of Speed. Updated January 13, 2016, Lotus announced full pricing details and drivetrain specifications for its new 311. Updated 9 October 2015, Lotus 311 just completed a two-week testing session at the Nürburgring race track during which period a total of 2,000 kilometers 1,242 miles were covered as part of a comprehensive test and development program. Check out Lotus' new video to see if the test was a success or not. Enjoy! Updated 5 October 2015, Lotus dropped a new video showing the new 311 in action at the Nürburgring Norschleif circuit. Enjoy! Updated 9 September 2015, Lotus announced that the new 311 just finished a two-week test session at the Nürburgring Norschleif circuit, in which over 1,200 miles were covered. During the test sessions, the 311 achieved one of the fastest ever lap times around the Nürburgring, 7 minutes and 6 seconds, which is even better than the company predicted. The time however, was obtained combining the quickest sector times achieved during the fastest two laps on the Sport Auto magazine lap configuration. Updated June 26, 2015, Lotus dropped the official details on the new 311, which will make its public debut this weekend at the 2015 Goodwood Festival of Speed. Updated February 30, 2015, while all we have so far on the Lotus 311 is speculation, we decided to create a rendering of what we think the car will look like. We hope you like it. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.